We're going to reflect a bit about computer literacy, what we've done this year. We're going to think about the things that were good and the things that were bad, things that could be improved. And especially since Ms. Mo is here, we can give her this feedback and hopefully we'll be able to improve computer literacy for next year. And then finally, I'm going to take you guys downstairs and we actually still have to take the touch typing test. So I, uh, I brought it. And who here has been practicing, by the way? I have confidence that some of you are going to pass. Last year when I was teaching 2B and 2G, no one passed. But I'm sure some of you will be able to type 30 words per minute at 95% accuracy. Is that all, by the way? Okay, so by the end of today, you should have one reflecting on this year's computer literacy lesson. They were okay, I guess. I'll reflect too. And number two, you should have taken that assessment to see whether or not you can type 30 words per minute. Okay, but first, I have to talk to you about something else. I'm going to tell you about it because the camera's rolling and I need this to be recorded. Uh, has anyone actually read my blog uh, this weekend? Now, if you've read my blog, you know that I'm not coming back next year. I'm leaving out of this college. And I've had a lot of problems um, in my own life, in being a teacher and being a person. And I kind of listed those problems. And, you know, you've seen me struggle. You've seen me have all kinds of uh, situations here. I mean, you've witnessed them, uh, you've heard about them. And honestly, you know, like I told you before, I don't feel like I'm fit to be a teacher right now. I'm not fit to teach you guys. I feel like I've been too arrogant, too conceited, too self-centered in the way I've been teaching you, in the way I've been working with you, in the way I've been working with my other uh, colleagues. And in fact, I don't really know how to teach. I don't teach very well. I don't really know anything about teaching. So, um, I'm going to tell you what happened this weekend, because it involves you. I did something really, really wrong, and um, I'll show you. If you guys have been reading this post over here, 2007, 2008 final examinations. If you were actually reading that post, what I put on, well, there were some things on that post that I shouldn't have put on that post in that blog entry. You guys receive an exam syllabus, right? This examination syllabus lists things that you might see on the exam and think they are things that you perhaps should study. Right? It lists like 10 things, and I'm referring specifically to the usage uh, and vocabulary table. So on the syllabus are 10 things. But if you were reading this, and this thing has been up for months, I don't know who's been reading it, uh, not just you, parents, the principal, which is how I found out, um, and other people. I actually put exactly what you had to study. That is, your exam syllabus has 10 things. And, you know, after I was looking at the papers, I put exactly which grammar items you had to study. I only put the items that were going to be on the test. So what I did was a serious breach of rules. Like, I was cheating for you. And the principal reads my blog. She saw that. And she was talking to me. And basically, we came to the conclusion that while this can be fixed, and it will be fixed because I've taken the information down, the test is going to be changed again, your usage and uh, vocabulary paper. What I have done is, is pretty serious, which is why I'm saying I'm sorry. I'm sorry that, you know, this year I've tried to do a lot of things for you guys. But you know what? In trying to do these things for you guys, I haven't been thinking about other people. I haven't been thinking about other students. I haven't been thinking about my other colleagues. 
I haven't been thinking about their parents. What if they complain that I'm telling you all of this? It's unfair, right? I've been being unfair. I've been being very, I've been very selfish. So, you know, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry that, you know, I'm sorry that I've apologized to you so much because I, I, I'm so flawed as a person and as a teacher. And even here, where I thought I was doing something good, I realized, you know, now I, I was stupid. I mean, how could I do this? I was cheating. You know? And I, even then, at the time, I didn't realize the difference. I didn't, couldn't tell the difference between right and wrong. And I did something very, very wrong. And I did so many wrong things this year in this school that I realized that I'm not fit to teach right now. And I'm not fit to be a very good person right now. I'm not fit to be a role model. You're, you, I recommend, please find other people to follow, to emulate. Because me, I'm a pretty flawed character. I have a lot of problems, and you know them. So that's why I'm not coming back next year. Because I finally realized that, you know, I have a lot of flaws I need to work on. I mean, this thing is just crazy. It's the final thing. It's like a nail in the coffin. And I realized that, you know what, I'm too arrogant, I'm too, uh, I'm not willing to listen to other people, I'm not willing to follow their rules. And because of that, you know what, I, I finally realized that I need to do this. So, um, yeah, I think that's about it, okay? So I'm, I'm really sorry about, you know, causing all of these problems for you guys, getting you involved with things, especially the International Food Fair. I'm sorry that, you know, we've had so many of these situations where I've, I've just been very selfish. I'm a selfish person. And I feel like I'm helping you, but in fact, I'm not helping you. So, anyway. Um, I guess I'll tell the rest of the class tomorrow. I'll just tell them briefly. But, uh, take the examination syllabus for English and, and use it and study it. Because the exam is actually different. What I wrote before, those things that I shouldn't have written. Well, you're changing the exam. Right? So they're being reset because of my mistake. Okay. That's my reflection for the year. Right? That's my reflection. It's been great teaching you guys. You've taught me a lot. You guys have done a lot of wonderful things. I guess I've done some wonderful things too. But uh, I've also made many, many mistakes that are serious in nature. Serious. Teachers should not be making these kinds of mistakes. So uh, I want to apologize for that, and uh, I guess we can move on from there. All right. Now, the reason why you have your exercise books open is because just as I was reflecting on this year, on what I've done right and what I've done wrong, um, you guys need to reflect on what has been going right and what has been going wrong. In this class, computer literacy, that is. Right? We're just thinking about computer literacy because this information can be useful in, uh, in teaching next year's Form 2 kids. So I actually have four questions that I'd like you to answer. And then I'll give you time to think about them. And then we'll put them on the wiki so that people can actually read the, your suggestions. They can read what you think has been good, what has been bad this year uh, in this class. So here we go.
What was the most enjoyable thing to learn this year? Um, we've learned a couple of things. We've learned about blogging, we've learned about Flash and Dreamweaver, touch typing, and this data privacy, piracy, and control technology. Um, maybe you can be even more specific. Thin blogs, thin Flash, what exactly was the best thing to learn? What was the most enjoyable thing, and why? And of course, also answer, what was the least enjoyable thing to learn? You can be as uh, specific as possible, and uh, please explain why as well. Furthermore, and this will help me, I'm not going to be teaching you, I'm not going to be teaching computer literacy next year, but just from my own records, how can I improve my instruction of this class? Not English, not history, but computer literacy. How can I improve that? And then finally, for you guys, how can you improve your performance for the coming year? Because you will have computer literacy, I think, next year as well. So, we can think about next year, while we think about this past year as well. Maybe, maybe five minutes, ten minutes. If you want to have an answer, all right, try to write in a complete sentence. And then I'll call on a few of you. We'll put some of our suggestions on the wiki so that perhaps this can be used as feedback. I'm going to do this as well.
minutes, yes? Does anyone need more time? We just want answers, all right? So for me, uh, while you're still writing, I'll share. Uh, the most enjoyable thing to teach this year has been blogging because I do it a lot. I know a lot about it. I'm an expert on it. Uh, the least enjoyable thing to teach this year has been uh, Flash because it was kind of cobbled together um, because at the time in December and November, I know you guys had those storyboards for art class and uh, Ms. Lee wanted to, me to help you, to teach you how to animate your storyboards. And I don't think we did a very thorough job of that. I didn't write everything down here, that's one thing. And two, I didn't um, make you pass checkpoints. It's the same thing with Dreamweaver. At the end of every lesson, I should have checked you guys to see whether or not you could actually do something whether you, or not you could actually use the technique. I did that last year, but this year I just didn't do it. So, uh, more of you would have passed if I checked up, if I chased after you after every lesson, rather than after everything was supposed to finish. And uh, how can I improve my instruction? Well, it's just the exact same thing regarding Flash. I should have put everything here, documented everything that I taught on this wiki, and I should have planned earlier to assess you guys after every lesson. Okay. All right. Um, you guys can keep writing. But let me just start going over, getting a few responses from you guys. Okay. So what was the most enjoyable thing to learn this year and why? I will type. Anyone want to share? Otherwise, maybe I should just call it. Winky. I will practice my touch typing. Give me a complete sentence. What was the most enjoyable thing to learn this year? The Next, 
What was the least enjoyable thing to learn this year? What was the worst thing to learn this year in this class? You can be very, very specific too. Jeremy, yes, good. How do you say the least enjoyable thing? Because what? He said for much typing is boring. Competitive and boring. Good. Who else? Who else? Uh, yeah. It was too difficult. What was too difficult? Be specific. What exactly was it? Huh? And it because it was difficult to learn new techniques. Okay. Who else? Let's get one more. Penny. Uh, the copywriter privacy stuff was the least enjoyable thing to learn this year. Why? Born and unnecessary. Okay. Anyone else? No? Okay. Everyone else has to answer these questions then. They're the trickier ones. How can Mr. Wu improve his instruction of computer literacy for the coming year? This is very, very important for me. Sandrella, you're first. Jan, you're next. Give me an example. Finish. Flash. Finish. Flash. Okay. All right. More time. Is it more? More weeks. Because that's what we did. 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Who says it would have been better here? Because, you know, I, I did it once. I think it would have been better if, I mean, Janet, you're right. I should have given you more hard copy instructions. That's the most important thing. Because I did demonstrate everything, but when you actually see things too, that's important. Especially for Flash. Dreamweaver yet. Okay, let's quickly finish this. How can I improve my uh, performance for next year? Thank you for the advice, by the way. This is very practical. Jason, Ben Allen. That's okay. okay. But like what? And give, give me an example. And when doing Okay, and care for about, about what students are doing. And what their problems are. Now, I'm kind of confused because, like, how? That is how. Uh, I've asked you guys if you have questions, and some of you have had questions and problems that have come to you. But how can I show you something else? That's the other thing. Do you want me to, like, walk around and to just go to each one of you? Like, to inspect you guys? Because I, I, I think this is a good suggestion. I just need to know specifically how. I mean, I, I care by asking questions, but perhaps that's not enough. What else can I do? Like, Jason, can you elaborate? Okay. Um, I'll try to do that. I, 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 and I think I've been trying. I, I'm not, I, don't, I don't know if it's been a good job, but you know, every time I've been doing this, I've, I've been saying, I, I know not Flash was a mess, and I'm sorry about that. But at least for Dreamweaver, I told you guys what exactly we had to do. And we went through all five of those things that I was looking for. All right? And if you have problems, you know, I urge you guys to, to come to me as well, just to tell me. The problem. Hopefully, we can work out a solution. Okay, so I'll I'll try to be more hands-on next time. All right, Alan, how can you improve your performance for the coming year? I think I need to work on that to do the homework. I need to do work at home. Thank you. Give yourself a second. Who else haven't we called on? Uh, we call the new Yanny. Okay, your turn. Then we'll get a boy. Then we'll do Michelle, uh, Hilda, or Morella. Concentrate. Give me an example. You need to concentrate less on YouTube. Focus on what? Those tree friends. Have you had your tree friends? Well, I'm on the work on this now. Thank you. Who's next? Uh, let's do Franco. Less on. Uh, I shouldn't distract myself at other web pages. That's good, thank you. Hilda! Practice more what? I think a lot, you're right. I think 
think a lot of the things that we've gone over this year, the problem really is time. Because we only see each other once a week. And for things like Flash and Dreamweaver and touch typing, you have to do it every day to start accumulating a body of knowledge. Right? Because one day you might learn how to make shadows, then the next day, then next week, when in Flash, you forget how to do it. How in the world did I make the shadow? And I think that was one of the biggest problems. And that was that could be solved next time by just giving you more pieces of paper too, so you can keep them. It's like we do one thing one week, then next week we just forget. So um, you know, that's my fault as well. And, uh, hopefully that can be improved upon next year. Hopefully we can have official handouts, handouts for everything. Okay, that's it, we're done, thank you. Now, this is what's going to happen. Um, we're going to go downstairs. And do you want some time to review before we take the test? We're just practicing all of the letters, being able to capitalize letters and to punctuate sentences. So you need full stops, you need semicolons, and uh, commas. Okay? So, by the way, when we are touch typing, what are the name, what is the name of those keys where you should put your hands? Home keys. Home keys, okay. So you keep your hands on the home keys, and from there, you can reach all of the other keys. Just remember to anchor your fingers there. Work on the punctuation, commas, full stops, semicolons. And be able to capitalize things too. All right? We'll do some practice together before we even begin. All right, line up. Let's go. Take care of us.